through the resurrection of Jesus from the dead, of Jesus Christ from the dead. Write this down if you write it. Resurrected hope is in the sonship of Jesus Christ. Resurrected hope is in the sonship of Jesus Christ. What am I talking about? What Peter wants to make perfectly clear here is that Jesus is the son of God. You see it there in the text. What he want to make perfectly clear here is that Jesus is the son of God. He said, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Peter tells us that God is the Father of Jesus Christ. You see it there? Just in case someone was confused, Peter clarifies and clears it up for us that God in Jesus, or that God is Jesus' Father, clarifying that God is Jesus' Father, places a certain amount of power, a certain amount of weight, and a certain amount of energy behind who Jesus is. The text says that he, God, is the father of Jesus. Yeah, he says then, not only does he say that God is the father of Jesus, and that God is God and the father of Jesus, but he also says, blessed. You see it there in the verse, blessed. Blessed be the God and father. The blessed in the verse is the Greek word, you getos, you getos, a derivative of the word eulogia, a derivative of the word eulogia, where we get our word eulogy, which means to speak well of, to eulogize. Peter apparently here, or Peter appropriately here, presents Jesus as God's son, but he blesses God in the meantime. He says, blessed be the God. He speaks well of God in this moment. He speaks well. He recognizes who God is. We need to understand about the sonship of who Jesus is. He was not just a man that walked the dusty streets of Jerusalem. He was the son of God. Somebody ought to say amen. Do you know it? He was the son of the very God. The very one that gave you life. The very one that got your heart beating and your blood flowing. He was the son of God. The very God that spoke ex nihilo and everything came into existence the same God through the Ruah breathed and life came into Adam the same God who through the Numa, the breath the wind of God is blowing in this place now somebody ought to say man in here today I am glad today that we have resurrected hope in the sonship of Jesus the fact that he is the son of God but we also have resurrected hope in the relationship with Jesus we also have resurrected hope in the relationship with Jesus look at the second part of verse 3 it says who according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again that's a big word there begotten what that means is that we were born but we became born again he begotten us again. He gave us new birth because of his resurrection. You didn't just get new birth. You got it because he rose. Somebody in the order say he rose. You got it because he rose from the dead when you invested in Jesus Christ. He said we have, he has abundant, he says abundant mercy has begotten us well what does that mean that abundant mercy which means uh, that God through a lot of mercy uh, God through a whole heap of mercy uh, you all may understand what I'm saying uh, God through a huge amount of mercy uh, through his abundant mercy uh, begot us again in Jesus uh, he allowed us to be born again uh, you know you were born the first time out of your mother's womb uh, uh, but when you accepted Jesus Christ uh, you became born again 
again. If you're saved, you ought to tell somebody, I'm born again because he begotten me. Did he beget you? I'm born again because he begotten me. Begotten me again. My mother and father begotten me. But they didn't beget me like Jesus begotten me. Yes, I'm born again because I've been begotten because of Jesus. Resurrected hope is in relationship with Jesus Christ. My relationship with him is because of what he did, not because of what I did. Somebody ought to say amen. Talk to me. My relationship with him is because of what he did, not because of what I did. And I'm happy right now. Yeah, resurrected hope is in relationship with Jesus. And also resurrected hope is in the resurrection of Jesus. Well, the first thing I said to you is that resurrected hope is in the sonship of Jesus. Then the second thing, resurrected hope is in relationship with Jesus. And then the third thing, resurrected hope is in the resurrection of Jesus. Look at what he says in the last part of verse 3. He says, to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. A living hope. We've got a living hope. You don't have a dead hope. You've got a living hope. I know it may look bad all around you. The world seemed to be falling apart. But you got a living hope. That hope is in the resurrection of Jesus Christ. You ought to say amen. You ought to say thank you God for your resurrected hope that's living right now. I'm glad you got hope. I'm glad I got hope in Jesus Christ. Peter says that we have hope now because of the resurrection of Jesus. The resurrection brought hope to the world. No longer are we a hopeless piece of people. God in Jesus has given us hope. This world may be in turmoil, but we have hope in a resurrected Christ. Say amen. He was raised from the grave so that we could have peace. He was raised from the grave so that we could have joy. Somebody say joy. He was raised from the grave so that we could have hope. Somebody say hope. Yes, the hope that we have will not fade away. The grave could not prevail and the grave could not prevent him from bringing hope into the world. The grave could not prevent him from bringing salvation into the world. Somebody say thank you, Lord. The grave could not do it. It could not stop Jesus. Oh, grave, where is your victory? Oh, death, where is your sting? The sting of death and the victory.